Hello folks and welcome. I am Technivorous. Today we are taking another Kira question from our comment section. If you'd like to ask a question, go ahead and leave it down below and we'll make you your own video answer. Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we have another Kira question. This one not necessarily strictly for Kira, but it applies to Kira and we're going to take a look at it right now. So this is Rama Olama. And they're asking, I want simply a recommendation or a video that properly explains the up slash downsides of extrusion width. What are the benefits to go below the diameter or above the diameter, etc.? Thank you and great videos. Well, thank you. We appreciate the thumbs up. <clears throat> and we will jump over to Kira right now and I will explain a few things. So the whole setup with 3D printing and the FDM side of things where you're using the extrusion process is very, very easy to get going with and it seems pretty intuitive. I mean, you would assume that you would just take your nozzle size and plug it in. And in fact, my line width in my profile does match my nozzle diameter. However, if you were to take a really, really fancy uh, digital calipers and measure just one of those lines, you would find that it isn't exactly 0.4 millimeters wide. And the reason for that is as it comes out of the extruder, as it extrudes out of that 0.4 millimeter diameter hole, it begins to expand as soon as it touches the air. So it's immediately larger when it comes out than that 0.4. So to compensate for this, most slicers, now Kira doesn't do this, it sticks with 100%, but most slicers will increase that to 120%. So uh, at 0.4, you're looking at somewhere between 0.44 and 0.48 um, to get the actual correct extrusion amount, the, the, the right line width. Now, you don't want to tell the slicer to slice at a line width that is less than your diameter because it will leave gaps in the print and the print won't work properly at all. Um, plus the, the, the extruder is not actually capable of printing at less than its diameter. Now, um, this is something that is controlled a lot by flow rate and the, tense, the, the, the fact that the filament is constantly being pulled and adhering. So. Um, there is, uh, if you take a look at like Kira, Kira Arachne, um, there are ways to control the diameter at different parts of the print and that's how they use that process by, by pushing less filament through the parts that they want to be thinner while they're moving at the same speed. Um, I don't know if any of that is making sense, but basically what I'm saying is um, with the line width, you don't want to go less than 100% of your diameter size because it's going to cause a lot of print issues. Uh, if you want to push less filament, uh, I definitely recommend checking out Arachne because it adjusts your line width based on the geometry and will basically save you quite a bit of uh, uh, plastic in the long run because it prints details in fine corners a little bit better and things like that. So um, this video though is about line width. I'm kind of going off on a tangent. Uh, so you can increase the line width up to about 150%. So you could print on a 0.4 millimeter nozzle with a 0.6 line width setting and you would get a decent print. It is gonna be a little bit over extruded in some places, but for the most part, that model is going to be fully functional and work well. And the reason for that is because Kira does do the calculating itself to make sure that the actual plastic doesn't exceed the parameters of the model that you're printing. So either way, you're gonna get really, really close to the same shape. Uh, in some cases where you have really fine holes and things like that, you might have some issues. So if you're curious about changing your line width, what I recommend is doing a regular print of a calibration cube at 0.4 millimeters, and then try one at 0.4 and one at 0.48 and compare the differences. If you see any one of those that looks better to you than the other, then that's what you want to grab. Now I brought this up because if you use Slicer or Simplify 3D, it automatically turns your line width into 100% of the diameter of the extrusion. Uh, Kira doesn't do that. Kira does a nice job of making the lines nice and even either way, and my models always come out nice, but I have played around with it a little bit, and I can tell you that at like 0.44, that's the sweet spot for getting high detail and really good accuracy without too much extra filament ending up in places that you don't want it. So um, basically, you are free to leave that at 100%. Kira works well that way, but you can increase it. I recommend sticking to around 110, 
not going up all the way to that 150 but you definitely don't want to go below that percentage because it's just generally not going to work out nearly as well for you and you're going to end up with some under extrusion so that is going to be it for this video guys i hope it was helpful to you leave your kira questions in the comments down below i love making these videos this is number 30 in the playlist so we have quite a few of them i'll put the playlist up above as usual and you can check it out see some of the other people's questions Please, please, please leave a like on this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.